Good morning, you lovely lot. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, if you didn't know, my name's Simon. I'm a full-time eBay reseller, mainly specialised in men's clothing. Today's plan is out and about. So need to go and find and um, see if I can pick up some more items to list on eBay. Um, got a goal of 20, so want to like, find that as many as I possibly can today. Um, I'm out tomorrow for the full day, so I'm up at the eBay Open up in London. Um, so if anyone is up there and uh, wants to say hello, please do feel free. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, crack on. Good day of sales yesterday, 26 items out the door. Um, so yeah, really, really strong day for a Tuesday. Um, hopefully it's looking like it's gonna be another good strong day again today. So um, I'll try and update you, but uh, I'm gonna like, kind of update you during the day as well. Okay, just out at um, the charity shops um, in a place called Caterham, um, just come across something that I've never last seen before. Um, so a couple of pair of Jordan ones, but uh, special edition. I'm gonna see if I can actually um, film in the shop to show what they are um, and also the price of them. All right, so just up here, two pairs of Jordan ones. So these are the high tops. But they're the Union LA. They are worn, but in really good condition. To be fair, the bottoms look hardly worn at all. So the asking price, I think, let's show you that. That's the first one I think, asking around about the 500 pound per item. I'm a little bit unsure about these ones. Again, really minimum wear. What would you do? Would you pick them up or would you leave? Right. Back again from the charity shops. Um, I thought I'd actually quickly show you like, what I picked up. Um, let me know if you actually would have picked it up yourself or would you have left it? Um, first one, a pretty plain shirt. Aqua Scutum in gray. Nothing too special on that one, but still all right. Nice jumper. It's by Diesel. It's got a little logo just on there as well. Gray jumper, sweater. Pair of jeans, these are super dry and they are the uh, corporal, um, corporal slim, copper black slim, sorry. You can see just on there, they do okay. Uh, I spotted this one, I do need to do a bit more research, but uh, this is actually a thick, heavy plaid shirt. Um, it's, it's made by Wrangler, but it's a 20X version so picked that up one so i need to do a bit more research on it but it looks all right we've got another kind of jumper cardigan made by reese heavy really heavy that one um, and then we've got possibly one of my favorites so it's rare i, I very rarely see this so this is a hoodie it's a size large. I'll see if I can show you the logo to look out for. You can see that just on there. Gets it in the light. There we go. But this is the tag. So it's called Icebreaker Merino. Yeah, really, really nice brand, this one. Um, I need to like check comps on it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of like close to the £50 for that. It was quite heavy on the um, the amount of jeans. So a pair of these, which is Orvis. I do like Orvis. Fairly short on the leg, but good quality. Then we've got 
another pair of bright jeans, but these ones are Carhartt. So really great brand, I love picking up Carhartt. Um, these ones on first inspection, I thought I was quite pleased when I picked these up, which are a pair of diesel and they are the Ryoth. Now the downside, and this is definitely like kind of what we all need to so kind of keep an eye on. As you can see, like on first inspection, they look actually in like really good condition, but it was only when I actually got home to notice that the back of them are absolutely decked. Um, so probably potentially still got a bit of value, but uh, it's been massively reduced because of that. Um, another pair of jeans. These are G-Star Raw. They're the 96 versions. So they got the cinch back and it's the raw denim as well. So these are like, kind of like these are really heavy and they're like good quality, those ones. Um, another pair of jeans. A pair of replay. Check the on there. There's a heavy on the jeans today. And we got these. Again, love picking up these, which is another pair of diesel. It's a little bit hard to actually see, but these are the uh, Cravers. So, like so, yeah, zip fly on these ones. But these are in like, a lot better condition, so the actual hem is all good on those ones. And then we've got a nice woolly pulley, nice jumper. So this is a black, it's actually by the finest. So I'm not 100% sure about it, but what I was 100% sold on, which is 100% cashmere. So it feels really nice as well. It's in really, really good condition, no holes. Even the actual like, feel of it kind of feels spot on. Um, picked up another jumper, so this one, it's Polo Ralph Lauren. I did have to like check to make sure this hasn't actually like shrunk. Um, so I did measure it and it does like, and it seem to be okay. It's quite a tight knit to it as well. But it is an XL. You got a pair of golf Adidas trousers. Probably getting to the end of the season now, but still good. A um, couple of other bits, nothing like too special, but I quite liked the look of it. Um, Orlando City Adidas T, but not a big hit on the back as well. Slightly kind of uh, faded, but uh, actually doesn't look too bad. See if I can see. So it's a 2XL as well, so it's a big, big size as well. Uh, We've got another shirt. This is father and uh, father sons. So that's what to look for. It's got a bit of embroidered on it as well. Oh, if I can see that. Yeah, a bit of embroidery. Uh, last couple of bits. Um, definitely, I spotted this and I absolutely loved it. Kind of like took me back, really did. Look at that thing, Crash Bandicoot. It's a big size, 2XL, I think it is. No, it's a 3XL. Um, but just thought it looked like it's ridiculously cool. Definitely not vintage at all. Um, I think it's 2020, so it's like it's a pretty modern one, but still cool. And then last but no means least, um, a fat face. Heavy knit quarter zip jumper. Has got a bit of fade in, but I'll put it through the wash to see if it comes out. If not, I'll just like list it a little bit cheaper. Uh, so yeah, that's what I picked up. Um, I suppose thinking of, uh, also I need to like, talk about possibly the grails that I picked up today as well. Um, uh, so I didn't pick them up, there was like two, pairs of um, Jordans. So they were Jordan 1s. 
uh, from my limited experience, they looked genuine. Um, the people in the store said that they were actually like legit. Um, they were checked up in London, um, but didn't have any proof. Um, but they did want five hundred pound on each. Now looking at it, and um, I, I did reach out to um, a couple of people. Um, Karim from Fuzzy Feet Footwear on YouTube. Um, he was really like helpful, um, kind of answered my question really quickly. Um, and also um, James at Bold Finds as well. Um, super, super helpful, like kind of like looked up comps. We came to the realization that as much as they were amazing, and I put some comps up as well, um, the amount that they were asking for was just too much. Um, so decided to leave them behind. Um, so hopefully that kind of gives you like an overview. Um, uh, just a quick one today so please do like um, and comment um, please like kind of let me know if you've got any questions um, and also please um, uh, reach out to me again have a great day and um, appreciate your time